Hello everyone, my name is David Richard from Weekly Tools, welcome back to our channel, where we share all things automotive. Today, we're going to talk about a common issue many drivers encounter, resetting the oil pressure sensor. If you're experiencing strange readings or warning lights on your dashboard, this might be the solution you need. So, let's get started. First things first, let's understand what the oil pressure sensor does. It's a vital component of your car's engine, responsible for monitoring the oil pressure and sending that information to the vehicle's computer system. If the sensor malfunctions or gets inaccurate readings, it can trigger warning lights or false alarms, which can be quite nerve-wracking. Now, before we jump into the reset process, please note that resetting the oil pressure sensor should not be your go-to fix for persistent issues. If you suspect a more serious problem with your engine or the oil system, it's always best to consult a professional mechanic. With that said, let's proceed. The first step is to consult your vehicle's owner's manual. It's important to familiarize yourself with your specific car's make and model as the reset procedure can vary. Look for the section that covers the oil, pressure sensor, or warning lights. It will guide you through the process or provide the necessary information to proceed. Once you have the necessary instructions, make sure your car is parked in a safe location and the engine is turned off. Depending on your car, you may need to open the hood and locate the oil pressure sensor. It's usually located near the oil filter or on the engine block itself. Refer to your owner's manual or do a quick online search to find its exact location for your specific vehicle. Next, you'll need a socket wrench or an appropriate tool to disconnect the battery. This step is crucial because it resets the car's computer system, including the oil pressure sensor readings. Locate the negative terminal on the battery, marked with a minus sign, and carefully loosen the nut. Once loose, remove the negative cable from the battery and secure it away from the terminal to avoid accidental contact. Now that the battery is disconnected, wait for at least 5 minutes. This allows the car's computer system to fully reset. While we're waiting, this is a good time to inspect the oil pressure sensor and its wiring for any signs of damage or loose connections. If you notice any issues, it's a good idea to address them before proceeding. After the waiting period, it's time to reconnect the battery. Start by placing the negative cable back onto the terminal and tightening the nuts securely. Ensure there's a snug connection but avoid over-tightening. Once the cable is in place, give it a gentle tug to confirm it's secure. With the battery reconnected, it's time to start the engine. Allow it to idle for a few minutes and observe the dashboard for any warning lights or error messages. If the oil pressure sensor was successfully reset, those lights should no longer be illuminated. However, keep an eye on them over the next few days to ensure they don't reappear. Resetting the oil pressure sensor can be a useful troubleshooting step if you're experiencing abnormal readings or warning lights on your car's dashboard. However, it's important to remember that this is not a fix for underlying engine or oil system issues. Always consult your vehicle's owner's manual for specific instructions and seek professional help if problems persist. Taking the time to understand your car's components and learning basic maintenance procedures empowers you as a driver. By following the steps we discussed in this video, you can confidently reset the oil pressure sensor and potentially resolve minor issues on your own. Remember, regular maintenance and timely inspections are crucial for keeping your vehicle in optimal condition. If you're unsure about any aspect of your car's functioning, it's always best to consult a qualified mechanic or automotive professional. Thank you for joining us today and being a part of our automotive community. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below and we'll be more than happy to assist you, drive safe, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.